Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Well, early this morning there was a magnitude 3.1 earthquake uh, two kilometers south southeast of East Freehold, New Jersey. So far, 6,601 people have reported feeling this earthquake. It was felt over a very wide area. Um, up over here, we got uh, Nassau, um, New Hampshire. We got Massachusetts, Boston. It was reported in. Did it ring the bells in Boston? I doubt it. And down south by Richmond and Norfolk, Virginia. Felt reports on EMSE. It occurred at 2 a.m. A large boom followed by rolling a few seconds. Dog sensed it and barked immediately. It says, I lived in California and have felt many earthquakes, but did not recognize this as one. There was no shaking or movement. Just a sound like someone opened up a large sliding glass door followed by two or three very loud banging noises. At first I thought my downstairs neighbor had opened a window and then pounded something violently against the floor or walls. I am about one mile from the epicenter, although uh, on the surface, of course. Another one says house felt like it shook for about three seconds. This one here says, we live in East Freehold, New Jersey. The dogs couldn't settle down 15 minutes prior to the earthquake. They wouldn't come inside where they live with us. Woke me out of a sleep, felt like a jackhammer going under our house. Lasted approximately 10 seconds. Now remember, uh, this area is capable of having a large earthquake, probably a magnitude 7. And in 1884, there was a magnitude 5.5 across the Hudson Bay there. Uh, I drew out some of these fault lines. Uh, there's some in New York and Queens and the Bronx. And this is an extension of the Rampapo fault line. So more than likely, it does go through here. Or there is uh, extensions of it that run through this area. Some people are more sensitive to earthquakes than others. Uh, this one says it woke them up and lasted about 10 seconds. Whole house shook and woke us up. Sounded like a massive truck had crashed. Uh, just felt a low rumble. Then a solid boom. Then rumbling away. Uh, thought at first it was a furnace. Yeah, probably thought it exploded. Loud enough to wake up my husband and I. And, uh, we felt three to four big rumbles. I thought the basement was collapsing, but no damage. Rumble like we we're feeling of the house vibrating woke us up from a sound sleep. We both said, what was that? Couldn't tell if it was a storm or an explosion. Definitely wasn't thinking it was an earthquake. Um, probably someone that's not prepared for earthquakes in the area, and you should be. A paper I found that you might like to read about the seismic hazard for this area. Eastern earthquakes affect areas 10 times larger than western earthquakes and the eastern U.S. and New Jersey are more densely populated than the west with New Jersey being the most densely populated state in the country. Earthquakes typically occur in the northern part of the state where significant faults are concentrated. However, Low magnitude events can and do occur in areas throughout the state. New Jersey has experienced a few small earthquakes throughout the years. Earthquake damage in New Jersey has been minor, including items knocked off shelves, cracked plaster, masonry, and fallen chimneys. These, along with earthquakes originating outside of New Jersey, have produced enough damage to be a concern of planners and emergency manners, managers. According to the New Jersey Geological Survey, New Jersey has a similar tectonic setting as New York City, Boston, and Charleston. And Charleston comes to mind about its large earthquake it has had in the past. All three of these cities have experienced earthquakes with a magnitude greater than five on the Richter scale. Further explanation of the Richter scale is located on the extent section of this profile. 
Earthquakes of these magnitudes could occur in New Jersey. The risk of damaging earthquakes in combination with New Jersey's population density and building structural value places New Jersey at the 10th highest among all U.S. states for potential economic losses from an earthquake. 10th highest in the U.S. And then it goes on about this other hairline fault line, which is part of the Rampapol Fault. This fault runs 70 miles northeast from Morris County, New Jersey, and the Hudson Highlands to Bear Mountain, New York. That's where the Indian Point Nuclear Power Plant is at. The fault is a hairline fracture, 50 miles long, and is located 35 miles from New York City. Any earthquake has a 5% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. And we'll bring it out and look at some of the other. Over here in Massachusetts, in 1755, there was a 6.0. It could have been as high as a 6.3. And then down here in 1852, there was a 4.3, 4.5, 4.5. Another 4.5. Um, in this area, most of the earthquakes were in the magnitude of 4s and 5. But with the extension of the Rampapo fault line, uh, yeah, they know that a large damaging earthquake is very possible for this area. Uh, I imagine it probably woke many of you up. Um, if so, did you have pets that gave you warning? prior to this earthquake? How long did it last? Uh, did you have anything that fall, fell off the shelves or uh, maybe some hairline cracks in your foundation or plaster or chimneys? Should be a wake-up call to have a plan in place so if and when that major earthquake does come because it is just a matter of time. Where would you meet your loved ones if all communication is knocked out? Yeah, besides get broken gas and water lines, uh, you would probably have fires from the gas lines, etc. Power outages, uh, infrastructure destroyed, roads and bridges uh, cracked and impassable. And emergency services would be overwhelmed and quite possibly you could be um, having to wait for emergency services. So please put your information down below. Thank you for calling. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.